today I will be reading aloud to show you what I mean when I say that I have uh, vocal dystonia for uh, those who don't know what I mean uh, because it happens sometimes um, suddenly and if you've seen the previous videos or you can see like within the video I might uh, lose my voice or start having difficulty when it comes to um, speaking so I will be reading from a website and I will link that website to show you how my voice would sound like and I'm reading from my computer so challenging my vocal cords let's see how long this will take I'm trying not to cheat because warming my voice will make it easier a little bit so what is spasmodic dysphonia spasmodic dysphonia also known as laryngeal dystonia is a neurological disorder that can affect the voice and speech it is a lifelong condition that causes the muscles that generate a person's voice to go into periods of spasm in us in some cases this order is temporary or can be improved through treatment spasmodic dysphonia most commonly begins when an adult reaches middle age. Women are affected more than men. Muscle tension dysphonia is a voice disorder that can present in a similar fashion to spasmodic dysphonia. Symptoms of spasmodic dysphonia. A person with dysphonia may experience breaks or interruptions in speech often every few sentences duh <laughs> a horror grating voice that can also sound strained or strangled and breathy known as a doctor dysphonia yeah i agree <laughs> totally agree on that but sounding speech that is difficult to understand that is um, up to you. Tell me if you can understand. Uh, gradual or sudden difficulty speaking. The problem may go away when the person laughs, whispers, speaks in a high pitched voice, sings, or shouts. That is actually true, but it's temporary. I don't, I don't know why. Um, sometimes my kids would drive me nuts and I would go like, like stop or something like that with a high-pitched voice and I would regain my voice for um, a couple of minutes, that's it. So it's not, it's not a solution and I don't know um, why does this happen, why does shouting actually helps. The last point is some people have uh, muscle tone problems in other parts of the body such as writer's cramp or myagenal dystonia so yeah so uh, that is um uh, about the vocal dystonia and i will be linking this uh in the description or in the comments below and i really hope that my voice uh, will be understandable for you however it is hard to me and it's actually it does not stop where my vocal cords are it spreads to my chest that i uh, need to concentrate on my breathing <laughs> that's why when i'm having difficulty talking it's not because of the difficulty talking it's because it does spread to my chest and it causes breathing problems so I really need to finish this video and now let me know in the comments what do you think if my voice is understandable and um, I'm trying I'm working on the subtit subtitles um, manually but I'm real slow because of uh, how much my hands move and I'm always clicking on the wrong the wrong um, what do you call it? on the wrong buttons so I'm trying to provide subtitles uh, in case uh, my voice breaks so you can understand. 
So this is the video and I hope it's been informative for you, for people who wanted to know what is a vocal dystonia. I'll see you soon. Have a good day. Oh, by the way, I do have speech therapy. Uh, in a couple of weeks, I have um, no idea how it's going to be like. So this is going to be exciting. Like, um, yeah, I hope they, they would actually help me restore some of my voice. Like, uh, this is kind of ironic because I used to be a teacher and you know how teachers have really commanding high voice and now I lost that <laughs> and um, I'm not sure if I will be ever be able to go back to teaching it's uh, it's hard enough to have just a regular phone call or just posting a video on on the on what and now on YouTube is difficult so I'll see you soon and uh, I hope uh, after a speech therapy I will start to have improvement and I will keep posting updates like this is happening and it's good. Okay, bye YouTube.